guys, is, is, is the enemy cool yet? No, you weeb. But what about- I said no. If you're anything like me and didn't grow up under a rock or, you know, Wyoming, you probably had at least a somewhat normal childhood. So you should be able to name most of the characters on the screen right now, if not all of them, right? Right. Okay, new test. Can you name any of these characters? Any of them. Any at all, just just shout it out. Nope, okay, good. I was worried for a second you'd be like this guy and you, what was that? You, you know who Tomki is? Oh, oh no. In today's society, the internet is literally everywhere. Your phone, your car, and yes, you guessed it, even your toilet. They gotta know what you're doing while you poop. Which means anyone and their mother has access to watching whatever they want, whenever they want. So for those who know some of those characters, you know what that means? Anime. Porn. Why is this such a big deal? Well, if you grew up when I did, this wasn't an option. The idea of having something like Crunchyroll was laughable and impossible. If you wanted to watch anime, you really had one option. Well, one option that was legal. But how many 12 year olds knew how to pirate anime back in 06? And that was Toonami! Ah yes, Toonami. For anyone who doesn't know what Toonami is, it was Cartoon Network's anime block. When you heard Tom start talking, you knew shit was about to turn up. Let's run the world back to when Lil Dicky was 13. Me Lil Dicky, not, not the comedy rapper Lil Dicky. Two completely different people. Sort of. Kind of. Mostly. Toonami was my first introduction into anime, and waiting for Saturday night to hit was the best part of my week. When I was in grade school, I was bullied a lot and didn't have many friends. On Saturdays, that didn't matter, because I knew I'd get to have Chinese food with my family and watch my favorite show, Naruto. I didn't ever get to share this feeling or my fandom with anyone, because liking anime was one of those things that people thought was weird, and I didn't want to give people another reason to pick on me, so I kept it to myself. So if it was so uncool, why did I still watch it? Why do I still watch it to this day? Well, I'll tell you. But first, a warning. I've heard if you talk about anime in a video for a certain length of time, you enter this catatonic, like, weep state where you recognize everything is a JoJo reference and brag about how you're all caught up in one piece. But for you guys, I'll risk it. To the casual observer, there are two kinds of anime. Dragon Ball Z, which encompasses never-ending acting shows with a lot of screaming. And Tentai. We'll call these people fucking normies. Re. And then there are those who are cultured, knowing the finer things in life, using words like pacing and plot to describe certain shows, and will defend their waifu's honor until their last breath. <laughs> their preferred outfits usually include fedoras. Yeah, it's important to kind of find like a middle ground here. Okay, let's get serious here for a second and fix the biggest incorrect assumption people have about anime. Anime is a medium, it's not a genre. Saying it's a genre, that'd be like a baker saying, I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. I'm sorry, what? In Western culture, the idea of animation and cartoons are largely equivalent to stories and shows written for kids. While this idea is slowly changing with more adult cartoons coming out like Bob's Burgers or Archer, it still fits that general consensus. If one wants mature programming, they need to watch something that's live action, whether it's a serial drama or a sitcom. Seriously? You make fun of anime but watch this? This argument's definitely a double-edged sword because trust me, there's some really weird stuff out there. Nani? But let's be honest, there are also some amazing cinematic and episodic masterpieces that come out of this medium as well. Stories that can rival any live-action drama or film that the West can produce. And worlds that can be created that are still so off from the abilities of live-action because it's animation! And animation opens up so many doors in the realm of possibilities. There are stories for everyone, worlds to be explored, lives to live, friends to make, relationships to- <laughs> Okay, let's uh, dial it back a bit there. To put it simply, everything we watch is used as a form of escapism. It's the reason I spent all those Saturday nights watching Naruto. In the words of Hayao Miyazaki, one of the greatest directors of animation, Yeah, that's right, according to Miyazaki, I'm a real anime YouTuber now. They often find themselves wishing they could live in a world of their own. A world that they can say is truly theirs. A world unknown to even their parents. To young people, anime is something they can incorporate into their private world. Let's be honest, we've all tried going Super Saiyan at least once. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I think... I think what always drew me into anime was the creation of these worlds and stories that let me be whatever I wanted to be. I could pretend to be a ninja, have a harem of girls that would fight over me, to be stuck in a video game or just go on a wild adventure because the real world around me wasn't nearly that fun. I never really felt like I belonged. I felt temporarily like the main characters in those shows experiencing everything. Growing with these characters that you kind of see as your friends and family until the show ends. I think that's why it's always so hard when you finish a show. Because in a sense, it's like you're having to say goodbye to all these people you just met and grew up with in a short period of time. Watching anime gives us this happy feeling inside. Same as when someone likes our Facebook status or Instagram photo. It's that little shot of serotonin that makes us remember everything's gonna be alright. But here I am today wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt and a Naruto headband, so it must be cool now, right? I mean, we have major car companies using anime to sell their cars now. <sighs> It worked! Look at that stylish exterior! Built like a true warrior. This fusion, it's unbelievable. Your car is still crap and I'm not buying it forward. Whether you like it or not, anime's moving to the mainstream. 
let's just jump back to modern society. You like lo-fi hip-hop or rap? Only if that shit be fire, man. <sighs> You're the reason we got bullied when I was growing up. The amount of anime references in rap is actually pretty insane. Everything I'm saying, I'm super saying like Goku. The reason is because all those Toonami kids who wanted to be rappers growing up are finally at the age where they're starting to make it. And, well, you write about what you know. Even big name celebrities have stepped up in support of the medium. Bet you didn't know Keanu Reeves always wanted to bring Cowboy Bebop to Hollywood. Or that Snoop Dogg reads Naruto. And Kanye loves Akira. Almost as much as he loves himself. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not telling Kanye what to like and what not to like. I don't need another Taylor Swift debacle. Push it! And hell, if you got the money, why not shell a few hundred bucks to get some Supreme clothing with Akira things on it? Or maybe even some Dragon Ball Z shoes. Hey man, can I burst? No, look, if the fashion industry is telling me anime is cool to wear, I'm all for it. You know what the best part of this video is? I'm pretty sure I haven't changed a single one of your opinions on if anime is cool or not. Well that's stupid, why'd you even make the video in the first place? Because it shouldn't matter if it's cool or not. The only thing that should matter is if you like it. Never be embarrassed by what you like. Whether it's anime, music, whatever it is. Because it took me way too long to ever come out and tell people I like anime. Just to find out, there are so many others around me that are the same way. So, let's wrap this up here now. Is anime cool yet? Who, Who cares? cares? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, check out the Adventure Time one I did a little while ago. That's three videos down this year, 21 to go. The reason I really wanted to make this is because I've been really obsessed with Darling and the Franks and I really love Gigguk and how he does these kind of videos and I'm like, you know what, I can try to do this. Also, feel free to like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. And if you don't want to do it for me, at least do it for Mega Man. Stop it. You're making too much noise. You need to relax.